until we have no children. And the loveliness goes hand in hand with the graveyard, if only at this time of year. No airplane or insects or afterthought, no place for happening things. Out of all the pigeons that rise up at once, the one becomes a lantern. The only lanterns are made of late cocoons and of the roaming and of the eye. Even the sky must remember itself as it comes through the leaves, crimson with its own incredible hold. Even the fearful must learn to fear. There must be light by which to darken rooms, with shoulders unlike shoulders, hands unlike hands. There must be jars fired to be broken, napkins folded, checks canceled, children crying in the street. There must be motels to make one think of loneliness. But no, it's autumn. Time to hear the clear bell, heavy bell, above the bent oxen. Nothing resembles the lovers like their dove-like necks. Antidote with Beatitudes Blessed are the indifferent, for they shall never weep. Blessed are the bewildered, for they shall soon forgive. Blessed are those who beg for sadness until their marrow breaks. Blessed are those who let gone be gone. What hooks you breaks you, rides you clean. Blessed are those who have no self to say amen to, to trawl for them while they sleep. Blessed are those who define the world as some slipped thing, some bitter tantrum. They shall know the world. Blessed are those who, with a foreign tongue, speak asters as the language of the rain. Blessed are those for whom sin is a saint. They shall go down on their knees, the sails of their pale faces turned from any wind. Blessed are those whose chalices are filled with an arid semantics. They shall vomit at night every perfection of the body. Blessed are those for whom the sound of memory has a sharpness of violins. They shall feel scaffolding deep in the blood. Blessed are those who walk a shoreline while its whispers swarm. Meaning is a bird call in the interim. <laughs>